Hi guys, welcome back to, what stage are we at? Three, I think? We're gonna focus on the eyes in this video. So I always like to start off with a really good eye primer. I do love my MAC Painterly Pot. This is just a unique concealer brush is what I use to apply it with. So, let's dive on in. We are just going to set up a really beautiful base that our eyeshadow can stick to. This has been my go-to product. I do use Unique as well. I'm going to be real. And what else have I tried? Oh, I did get some free promotional stuff from Urban Decay. And that comes on a wand. And I do like that one too, but... um. MAC is primarily my go-to. Once I find a product that I really love, I'm really loyal. I will try other things, but I still keep coming back to it. Now, you guys may think this is a little bit crazy, but lately I have been doing my eyebrows before I do my eyeshadow. I don't know why, I've just been really loving it. I'm gonna use Kai Brow in the medium brown with one of her pencils, does it say, or pencils, one of her brushes. So it's got a really nice angled brush on this end and then a spoolie brush on the other side. I haven't done my eyebrows in a minute on camera. So let's see how well this turns out. So typically what I like to do is I like to just like create the angle that I want it to have, and then I sort of fill in. I'm dipping into both sides of this pot. I know you guys can't see that. Okay, basic brow, no brow, a little brow powder. It does wonders. I feel like your brows really make your whole face. I'm not going to lie. I didn't start doing my brows till what, maybe, I don't know, maybe like five years ago. And when I look back at the pictures, I am like, oh my God, this is like so funny in all the pictures. So my hair is dark right now. It's typically blonde and my eyebrows are actually really blonde too. Normally I do have like some concealer and some things that have made their way in. Um, but like legit, this is an epic fail. I don't know why I can't do this side and I could do the other side just fine. <laughs> Work with me. Okay, so it's actually really, really hard to do your brows on camera. And this is why I don't do them very often for you guys on camera is because I like to get like so close to my makeup mirror. It's crazy. I think the biggest thing to remember about brows though, your eyebrows are sisters. They are not twins. They're not going to be identical. Okay, so... That looks pretty good. I'm gonna touch those up later. You guys just saw how hard it is to actually do your brows on camera. It is not easy. So I chose Kai Brow today. I use Anastasia. I've used like so many other companies. Um, but that's what I felt like today. I am just gonna touch up my face because I have a little bit of a glow going. This light is so, so hot. I can't handle it. Okay, so we'll just touch up every now and then. Um, let's play with today. Okay, I'm super duper excited about this. Yes, the Bloodlust Collection. I did an unveiling, but I never actually did a video 
Um, I've put photos out on like my Instagram. You guys can already see. You'll be able to see what I have been diving deep into. Um, but let's go for a really pretty purple moment today. I'm going to start off with, this is Morphe Jeffree Star JS10. And we are going to pack, it's called Blood Queen, into my outer corner. So, and we're just going to start packing that in. Okay, let's go on over to the other side. This is a great little packing brush. This palette is so pigmented. It is awesome. I love the whole color story. Okay, so we're just like laying down a base there. You will tell, I go back and forth so much. Okay, so we're gonna let that be. Let's go in with our Jeffree Star JS9 brush and let's go back we're gonna dive into blood queen some more and I'm gonna show you we're gonna darken up that outer corner so I just make it all meet I mean already I mean, whew, this palette is stunning. I cannot get over myself right now. Okay, so let's just do a little bit more. We're going to deepen that up. Okay, so next, I typically am all about like using the same brushes like over and over again. But for you guys, I thought I would mix it up. Let's take this brush. What is this brush? Hmm. JS8. And let's dip in to Deviant. Woo, can you guys see Deviant? It's like a light purple. Light purple. And let's just smudge this up a little bit. Kind of blend it in. And we'll really make that pop later with like a really pretty like icy color. But just in case I have any harsh lines, I really like to just go in and kind of clean that up, okay? So, yes, deviant. Okay, let's go in with Executioner. Okay, it's like this black sparkle over here. What does it have? It has like gold, purple, black. Okay, we gotta be careful with this. <laughs> this one, this one's really serious, okay? So let's just pop this into the outer corner. Oh, God. Okay, we, we're going to end up taking that a little bit farther than I wanted to. I told you guys, this is like really super potent. A little goes a long way. I get heavy handed and I get in trouble. Okay. It will all work out though, I promise you.
Okay, so now we're gonna go back in. I think this is JS9. Go back into Blood Queen, that purple. And blend the hell out of that. Okay. All right, I am loving this so far. Okay, so let's go in with Wet Jewel right here. It's like this really pretty pink. You know what, let's go, let's lay down Magic Pink first. So let's put like Magic Pink like right here and blend that because I took that dark a little far over. I'm just gonna use my finger. Okay, so kind of we'll put that in the center. So this is pink magic in the center. I'm gonna make it so it's not so harsh because I told you guys executioner is so serious. Like if you're gonna go there, honey, you gotta be careful. Okay, so I'm just like blending that out just so it doesn't look so, so crazy. Okay, so now, same finger, I'm just gonna dive into Wet Jewel. And just give this a really pretty pop. So right on the inside corner, so it just lightens everything up. Okay. Woo, yes, okay. I have to find my really fine brush. I'm just gonna use this one. What is this? This is JS1313. Let's dip into Blood Queen lightly, very lightly. And I'm just gonna take that and go right underneath. Okay, I just love how that like pulls the whole look together. It's just so stunning. Okay, up top, we need a little something up here. Why can I never, I can't ever find the brushes I'm looking for. Okay, we're just gonna grab another clean brush. JS12, okay. Let's go back in with Wet Jewel, this really pretty pink right here. You guys can see I have had a little bit of fallout. Nothing crazy though, that'll brush off like no problem, you guys will see. So we just want to really make that pop. So what I do is I just bring it around and then I connect it. Okay, so it has a really pretty uniform look. Okay. I just love the way that looks. Okay, let's brush off some of this excess. I'm gonna take my cute little flamingo brush and then just watch. Oh, maybe. Executioner is stuck there. This is real life. <laughs> okay, flamingo brush didn't help. Let's see if this brush or this powder will help. Woo. Okay. You guys can see we are in real time here. Well, you guys are watching this later, but I'm just going to let it be. I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to fix that in a minute. I did not put enough setting um, powder down. Oh, there we go. I think I got most of it. Yeah, I did not put enough setting powder down. I'm gonna be real with you guys. Um, and these colors pack so much punch in them. Like, 
I don't even feel bad about it. Okay. Sorry, I was not prepared. So let's go in with some lash primer now. What is this? This is Unique Epic, just lash primer. I'm going to be real with you guys. I put on some fake lashes for you, but um, I'm getting ready to go work the night shift at the hospital. And I am not feeling like putting any lashes on to go to work at the hospital. An overnight 12 hour shift. No, thank you. No, no fake lashes today, y'all. Okay. So next I'm going to use Roller Lash by Benefit. I just think this mascara is so great for separating the lashes. Why am I struggling for you guys? Hold on. Why am I struggling when I have this beauty? Lengthen and separate out those lashes. Let's dip in again, why not? Okay, I mean, <laughs> look at the difference already. When people say mascara doesn't matter, you're lying to yourself. <laughs> I'm like trying not to make any weird faces. Usually I skip this step for you guys and I like don't show you on camera this anymore either, but I thought I was like, let's kind of get back to the basics a little bit for you. Okay, we are not done with mascara. There is more. I may be working an overnight shift, but I still don't want to look terrible. So I'm going to do um, Moodstruck 40 Epic Unique Found, or uh, Mascara. Has all the fibers and everything all in it, all in one. I'm going in. I mean, this look is so pretty. Okay, I'll touch that up a little bit. It's so hard to do your mascara and your eyebrows on camera. Try it sometime, guys. It's really tough. Okay, so let's do this next. Woo, the extreme frost choking on ice. So I'm going to show you guys just a little dip in. It is stunning. Who wants to look nice for their patients tonight? I mean, this is like next level, you guys. I'm obsessed. Okay. Let's finish up this look. Oh, gosh. I hope you guys are having fun watching. I'm sure having fun. Okay. Let's get down Queen Bee. Wow, Queen Bee. Okay. So, um, I've really been in love with I'm Vulgar, this shade. And I'm also in love with Berries on Ice. I'm going to be honest. I haven't really tried too many of the other colors. They're really light. I could see using some of them as like an eyeshadow or something. But I have to show you guys this I'm Vulgar. I feel like if he doesn't make this in a full size, I'm going to freak out. This color is so good. I mean, oh, 
I am like living for it. Oh my God, it's so good, you guys. Okay, last thing. I did get all of his glosses. This one is my favorite. What is this? Lord Star. You just wanna take this look to the next level. Oh my God, it smells like cake icing every time. I'm like, it smells so good. 